Hey you guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Thank you for tuning into today's video. So I think this is going to be the biggest Dollar Tree haul that I've done in quite some time. It has a bunch a bunch of really good name brand makeup and beauty stuff. So I'm gonna split it up into two parts. The first part of this video is gonna be all of the makeup and beauty. The timestamp will be on the screen of when that will start. And then the second part of this video is gonna be everything else. I found a ton of my wish list items and a bunch of really amazing beauty stuff. So if you're only here for makeup and beauty, you guys can watch the first part of the video. If you only wanna see like the other random stuff, you can watch that part. I wanted to split it up this way because I thought it would be, would be better than doing two videos, but if you guys want to see it like that in the future, just let me know. So before I get started, I'm not going to ramble, but I do just want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a video, turn on post notifications so that you get notified every single time I upload, and if you guys could give the video a thumbs up or share it with a friend, it would mean the world to me. All right, you guys, let's get started on probably the best Dollar Tree haul ever. You guys can let me know what you think. As I always do, I always like to start with the things that I was most excited about and I was most excited about dun, 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 the most amazing selection of face masks and don't you worry this is not it I got a bunch of other ones here too some Korean face masks the Dollar Tree brand the Dollar Tree is stockpiled with face masks the ones that I was probably the most excited about were the sleeping mask. It reveals the perfect amount of sleeping masks needed for overnight. Apply the mask all over your freshly cleaned face. I guess you massage it in. We'll wait here. Tuck yourself into bed and then when you wake up you rinse it off. So I'm so so excited to give these a try. These are something that I have not tried before but I saw a lot of great like uh I guess people were like suggesting to do this in your beauty routine vitamin C boost and then this one is cucumber extract so I was so excited about that so this one is ultra hydrating same sleeping mask this one is hydrating with coconut oil I think these will make a really great gift as well for Christmas you guys know I've been talking a lot about like getting all of your gift basket items together that's why I got so many masks so these yes to uh, cucumber and yes to coconut I have seen before so basically what you need is the mask inside comes the bowl and the mixing stuff and then you add uh, yogurt, honey, banana, orange, lemon, avocado. Some of them you can add like, um, what's that called? Apple cider vinegar. So you add in one of those ingredients and then you just leave it on your skin like that. I wasn't too sure about these. That's why I didn't pick up that many of them. I will give them a try. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Have you tried these? I would love to know, but I thought these would make really great gifts um, for Christmas and stuff like that. So I picked up a couple of those. So the Dollar Tree had Korean beauty or Korean skincare and I was so, I was like so excited because you guys know you see that a lot at like Daiso and places like that but the Dollar Tree never really has any Korean beauty. So I found these, it looks like it's from the brand Stella Fiesta made in Korea Coenzyme Q10 face mask. Enha enhance your skin from inside out with Stella's Coenzyme Q10 face mask. Stimulate your skin cell with natural antioxidants. I guess it's basically like a sheet mask. I thought the packaging was really cute and beautiful and it was like that kind of like mustardy gold color. That one is amazing. Here we have another sheet mask and this one is just from just a regular Dollar Tree brand. I don't know what brand this is. Face mask charcoal one detoxifying mask. I have tried this before. Um, I was not crazy about it, but I just wanted to pick up another one to show you guys like all of the selection that they're having right now for masks. Another one that I picked up that I was so excited about. Okay, so this was from Global Beauty Care. It is a gold face mask at the dollar store. Talk about bougie, like hello Dollar Tree, bougie. I thought this was amazing. I don't know if there's actual gold in here. This is more of like the anti-aging type of mask. I, this was my first time seeing this, so I was like, yes, I will take it. Right now at the Dollar Tree, Wet n Wild is there. And these, I think, go for like three or four dollars, these little eyeshadow. I guess it's kind of like a five different eyeshadow in there. This one is in Tunnel Vision. It's a lot of those black colors. I think this is great just to have on hand. I love these eyeshadows. If it's the formula that I have tried before, I absolutely love them. Here is one that's in silent treatment. This is definitely more of like the neutral tones that I'm into that I like and I think this is only three shades. See how much more you get for a dollar? See, because these prices do vary at the drugstore. So these both were a dollar. At the regular normal drugstore, this one would be more expensive. But I was excited to find these. Very, very nice. They also had one of the Wet n Wild 5 Time Plumper Mascaras. This is in very black. Like, ah. Uh, 
score and then they had the brow tamer which is from wet and wild mega clear is this for your lashes this looks like an eyelash right here why do they have it for brows so i think this is just like a clear a clear brow gel and i saw pretty and flawed say that she liked this so i'm excited to give it a try i've previously gotten a couple of the wet and wild glitter eyeshadows i'm not too crazy about it just being very honest this is a bonus pack it has silver and blue a dollar i had to pick it up but this is kind of like a gel consistency i don't i'm not too crazy about it i mean they also had it at the dollar tree that where it was just one of them in there so getting two is always a better deal so i just got this one here are two of these i guess they're limited edition, limited edition coal eyeliners so you can do these like on your water line underneath at the top this one is in gold which is called i guess they call it bronze pros and bronze and then this one is don't leaf me which is like this really nice green color here are two more wet and wild colors this pink sugar looks really really nice this is one of their uh, mega last lip colors i absolutely love these lipsticks from wet and wild they're so good they're super pigmented they're really inexpensive they're not super long lasting but if you're not looking for like a liquid lipstick they're a great option and i think this um color right here would be really great on darker skin tones oh, i can show you guys this watch yes i like that one a lot okay and then this one is in what color is this 24 karat gold which is like it's almost like an orangey red, which is nice. These are so good. They're super pigmented. I think they're only like a dollar or two at the drugstore. Wow. I know you probably can't say, but I like that. Definitely like this orange. This one is like an orange red. So very nice. Going to give these a try. I'm sure you guys will see those super soon in another video. I got a couple of the LA Color Dramata Lash eyelashes and it's one pair my favorite ones i think were have been the demure i've wore these before i feel like you can only get like one or two uses out of them just because the band and the lashes are a little bit cheap but for a dollar if you want to play around with them you need lashes you're in a pinch these are really really nice um they're in black they're more on the natural side i also got diva worth to pick up i did not try the actual eyelash glue the glue that i like is from the drugstore i'll have a little picture up here i feel like it works best i'm i'm already not really great with my eyelashes so i need a glue that's actually gonna like i know works so i don't have that wonky lash problem when i went to the dollar tree today i saw this beauty benefit hollywood benefit highlighter powder it's in the most perfect shade for highlighters so if it's pigmented we may be very very happy the only thing that i think with really inexpensive highlighters and things like that are expense inexpensive like brands like this is every time i use it it doesn't last so you have to like reapply it that's the only thing that i don't really like like when i put on my highlighter i just want to put it on one time but you can obviously see it on my hand. You can see that glow right there. It's right here. So I think that it's going to be like a nice natural, but I don't know how long it's going to last. But you guys can let me know if you've tried it before. Let me know what you think. And then the last makeup item that I picked up was from the Aziza Studio, and it's their blush. It's actually cracked. It's in the shade Urban, and I got this for uh, like a full face using Dollar Tree makeup, which I'm trying to collect makeup to do. It's basically like a bronzer like I guess like more like a corally blush and then a peachy blush it seems a little bit chalky for a blush we'll have to see we can play around with it I'll let you guys know what I think the last thing that I found from wet and wild I just saw it on my little seat over here it's their single eyeshadow in the color sugar which is basically like a matte white and I feel like this is perfect for anybody if you're really into makeup if you're a beginner having shades like this are perfect to keep on hand because you know you always need a white in your life but that was all the makeup that i found for a dollar y'all those face masks i think are so exciting and the other makeup that we were able to find is thumbs up so i would definitely recommend going out to your dollar tree to see what you can find because girl there's a lot of stuff out there okay let's move on to the everything else section i am super excited to share with you guys what i found so i'm gonna share with you guys the thing that i was most excited about for this section as well because i found something that was on my wish list for quite a while and it was <laughs> these little miniature like i guess they're kind of like geometric shaped shelves and they're already to be hung they're perfect for hanging up 
and you can like stack them all together like that they're like in that honeycomb shape i found three of them and i think that they are absolutely adorable i was actually thinking that i should spray paint them gold i want to know what you guys think should i leave them white or spray paint them gold sometimes when you spray paint plastic it doesn't look that good from that same brand they also had these little modular wall storage containers they have little pictures of makeup products in here these are great because on the back they're already set up to be hung so this is going to be really great um, for makeup brushes or whatever you're going to use it for you can put it on your wall i've seen ideas where they've put in like little fake succulents and stuff like that in there i think these are super cute they sold out super duper fast at my store so uh, not great but super adorable the next two things that i saw were these really beautiful like decorative jars inside is a mercury glass and on the outside is kind of like a distressed see-through white these are so stinking cute i feel like these are going to look great for christmas time if you're into like those neutral colors like neutral with silver or gold i love them the quality is great and they are it looks like it's a product from the dollar tree because it says chesapeake love these think they're super cute so i decided to get two of these little wall mount hangers and i saw these a while ago a lot of people were hanging these i think that if you guys are trying to uh, anchor a picture or in your bedroom somewhere like that you can put one on each side depending on like how big the area is i saw these almost chalkboard looking candles and they're matte black they reminded me a lot of the ray dunn mugs and i thought that i could like use what is that called like a chalk pen to write boo on it b-o-o -O. i got three of them there's one already over there or maybe you could use it for christmas time the quality like i like them better this way than with the actual label and the actual candle smells like terrible but I think that them like this you could put them in one of those tiered trays and it would look really cute i just really like the way that it looked it looked kind of like that farmhouse vibe to me but when you open it up and smell the candle inside oh my god it has no scent even inside of the thing i don't know it's from enchanted night frozen water soy blend scented candle i might try it and light it just to let you guys know what i think but inside of there there's no real scent this one is in dark velvet. I didn't see these at a lot of the stores. This one was at uh, one of the stores, but I just love the packaging one here. For little Bobby, for his room above his bed, he wanted to get one of these little dream catchers. This was the most gender neutral one that I saw. It's just black and brown with the brown and black, uh, the brown and tan feathers. So we're gonna put that above his bed. So I found the cutest little planner stuff. It's absolutely adorable. It's from the Jop brand. And it's basically like a beginner set. It has washi tape in there, little clips. It has some of these really cute like to-do stickers, little round stickers, washi stickers. I was like, oh my gosh. They call it a stationary set. They had one that's like kind of floral and one that is, what are these called? Unicorns. You guys, I'm going to take out everything and share with you guys what's inside of there. But so it all comes nicely in this little pouch and it's everything that you need to like get started with your planner. They have little vacation stickers reminder stickers like little like note sticker just everything i'm going to share share it with you guys like little flag stickers oh. and they're in the most beautiful color so it says don't forget to clean to buy pay bills it's basically like a little beginner set and it comes with the same matching washi tape little bow paper clips and then a little ru ruler so a while back i shared with you guys all these beautiful little square decorative pieces and i picked up this new one it says thankful grateful blessed for thanksgiving i thought the message was spot on you can add these on to like a bigger piece of wood if it looks too small for you but i loved this metal look i think that that is really really nice for a dollar it's decent and i have a couple of them in my kitchen they look really good but again this would look good like you know let's Let's talk about it this with this maybe with some greenery you know you got your whole little farmhouse vignette set up if you put it on one of those little galvanized tiered trays i just think that's so stinking cute and i think for a dollar i don't think anybody would know you guys can let me know what you think so i was so excited to find these doormats at the dollar tree and this was my first time ever seeing a doormat like this it looks like it's from the majestic global trading corporation new jersey clinton new jersey no clifton i was gonna say 
Um, yeah, it's a decent size. I shared a picture on my Instagram of it put up. This is definitely a great score for a dollar to find its Dollar Tree, so I was really happy with that. They also had another option as well, which is just a plain black rubber mat that you can use basically anywhere in your kitchen. I was gonna try to use, two, I got two of them and use them in the car. I think that they, that would be nice or on your front porch, your back porch. For a dollar, they're heavy too. Like they don't feel, they don't feel cheap and light and like they feel heavy duty. So very nice find at the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. But these are really great for just like the entryways and stuff like that to collect dirt and dust, especially for the snow time. If you guys live in like snowy areas, you could put a tray down, put this on top of the tray to store all of your boots and shoes and stuff like that so that your floor doesn't get all muddy and disgusting. So I was recently at, I believe that it was like AC Moore or Michaels and I saw all of this kind of like, it was just plain galvanized metal basically. And I think it was meant for like DIY projects. So I saw this sign and on the front it says work that crown, which is cute, but I picked it up for the back because I thought for Christmas time we could put like maybe like jewelry to the world. I don't know, do something. We could come up with some ideas to DIY it ourselves. And I think that that would look really, really nice. You could take this out and add some twine. I love the back of it. And I know the ones that were at, at AC Moore, some of them were bigger, but I saw some that were just this size. So I was like, yes, thank you, Dollar Tree. I'll take that and try to figure out something to do with it. These are some of my favorite, favorite letters. <laughs> These are vinyl peel and stick letters that are just in black. They look really nice and they last for a while. They are a little bit smaller, but I thought for Christmas time, you always need those. So for it's a decent size, I think. So we can figure out other projects to use these for, but I wanted to pick them up because they don't always have them at every store. Some stores only have the numbers and these are just like the letters and the exclamation points. This is an amazing deal. If you are a baker or if you're just like myself and don't really have spices or anything that you need for baking, they had these Baker's Field Pure Vanilla Extract, so I picked up two of those. You can always use them for those DIY pots that you put on the stove and let them simmer on low to make your house smell good. So I love my pop socket. I don't know if it's even called a pop socket. It goes on the back of my phone. So this is what I got from One Dollar Zone a while ago. It's just silver. You basically can just like hold your phone like this and it like kind of like spins. So, you know, it's like, look at my, my screen is so dirty. Okay. It basically lets you have a sec more secure hold on your phone. Well, Dollar Tree came out with their version. They had them in a bunch of different colors. This is called their ring. It's from the E-Circuit brand ring holder for phone as a kickstand or as a ring to improve your grip. And I just like the white background. I thought I would give this one to Bobby for his iPod. It just allows you to hold your phone more secure and then it, like they said, it also works as a kickstand. So this was kind of like on a little end cap at the end of, it wasn't in the actual section, it was on the end. So if you guys are looking for these, I'm gonna just say it until Christmas time. I'm sorry if I'm annoying, you guys can let me know, but this is a great stocking stuffer item. This is a great item for a gift basket. So pick it up, put it in our little storage container like we've talked about this past week, where you wanna just buy things and store it for the right time, for Christmas time, for a gift, for a gift basket, for a stocking. These are inexpensive, but they're useful as well. Oh my gosh, y'all, look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Craft Jet Puffed Marshmallow Cream. I haven't had this in years i don't know if this is considered fluff ew ew is that supposed to look like that oh ew. why is it brown like that y'all i don't think that's it oh my god why does it look like that that is gross that is absolutely disgusting why is it brown mm -mm. okay so we're gonna have to figure that out. I'll show you guys that. I don't know if we'll be eating that. If you guys like sparkling water, if you guys like the waters that I've shared before, this is a similar brand. It's called Bubbly. Sparkling water, grapefruit bubbly. It's a great alternative to soda. It is not as good as soda, I know. It's soda, I like soda, sadly. I do like to drink soda. This has like no calories, no sweetener, no sugar. Like it's basically like, it has that tang of soda, but it's, 
not soda. So this is a great brand. If you guys have not tried it before, it's actually pretty decent. I've had it in the cans before. So I wanted to get one of these because I really like these. And that's how I trick Mr. Quincy to think he's getting soda. He thinks that this is soda. In here, I was just storing all the stuff that I was sharing with you guys. So I'm going to put all of that back in there. So you guys, that was my whole entire haul. I hope that it wasn't too long. I hope that you got a good idea of what is out at the Dollar Tree. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Leave me some comments. I love hearing from you. I love hearing what you guys like and what you've tried before. Put it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I would love to have you. I will see you guys super soon with another video. Bye, you guys.